<laughs> and a reminder, if you want to be the next Apprentice, come on by here next Wednesday. Donald's going to be here to interview candidates for The Apprentice 2. Maybe someone in that crowd will be a part of that show. And some of those people just blew my ears on <laughs> And we couldn't end the day without a little delicacy in the kitchen. Stick around to find out why this one is a real treat for some promising young chefs. But first, now 47 after the hour, here's Ann. Right, Matt, thank you. This morning in today's kitchen, an educational cooking experience. In November, we brought you a series called Who We Admire. Well, Al chose a program called CCAP, which stands for Careers Through Culinary Arts. Its mission is to provide jobs in the culinary arts for at-risk kids. After high school, when I graduated, I did not know what I wanted to do. But I always loved cooking, so that was my first thing, you know, and that's what I wanted to do. So they gave me the opportunity to do that. Every once in a while, we're lucky enough to meet someone who makes a difference in our lives, who changes the direction or path we're on. Well, for thousands of high school kids, Richard Grousman is that person. Back in 1990, Richard Grousman, a trained chef and teacher, came up with the concept for CCAP. In just 13 years, CCAP has grown from a small initiative to a national not-for-profit organization that's handed out over $11 million in scholarships. Teach your children well. For me, it's been just a tremendously rewarding opportunity to see the effect that we've had on the lives of the students. Al is such a fan of the CCAP program that he recently hosted his annual benefit, and among those honored were Michael Romano, chef uh, at Union Square uh, Cafe here in New York City, and Rachel Lansing, the pastry sous chef at Fanchon, and also a CCAP graduate. Congratulations to both of you, Thank and you good, so morning. Good, morning. good morning. Rachel, tell us about your getting involved with CCAP. You are from Queens. You're, yes. you, you have, you're one of you're the youngest of four children, yes, and you've always loved getting involved in food. Your, your parents are Filipino immigrants? Yes, that's right. Okay, and so, and so for you then, what did CCAP give you? What was the thing that it offered to you? Many opportunities, um, training, um, help with finding a job, scholarship for school, full tuition scholarship to the Culinary Institute of America. And you actually now have been for two years at the age of 22 yes, that's right. at this very that's ritzy, right. <laughs> ritzy, ritzy restaurant here yeah. in New York City and also in Paris called Fashion. Yeah. And so how, how must your parents then, the Filipino immigrants, react to your success because oh, of this so, program? They're so proud of me. They, they fully, fully support me. Everything I bring home, they, they just eat up. And yeah, literally. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the story is and what you create. And That's in fact, you brought some imagine. recipes you created <laughs> for us today. But before we get to your making that, Michael, I mean, you're involved. You actually employ CCAP students. And right. wh why, why have you gotten so involved? This is a nationwide program, we should say. Yes. It's not just in New York. Right. And we've been, all of our restaurants have been involved over 10 years with the CCAP. It just sounded like a great idea when Richard first told me about it. It's great to help. Uh, uh, kids who might not find their way and enable them to get scholarships, get an education. And of course, it's our passion to get people into the restaurant business. We're always looking for good, talented people. So it's a, it's a pleasure. So, so ultimately, it's a good thing to do, but then you get from it good, Absolutely. talented people. Let's take a look at some of these talents. In fact, Rachel, you're going to make for us for us what today? A recipe you've created? Is that right? Yes, I made Okay. It. What are we making? It's a chocolate orange caramel surprise. Sounds good. How do we get started? Okay, we have a creme anglaise here. Mm -hmm. This is just been heated. We're going to, um, mm -hmm. yeah. This is a sheet of gelatin. This is how it comes um, You buy packaged. it like this? Yes. It's a sheet of yes. gelatin. Yes. And it's edible. Uh, you have to soak yeah. it first. Soak it first. And, and then, then it edible? has to be uh -huh. melted. Okay. okay. So this has been soaking in water. We're just going to add this to the hot creme anglaise. Uh huh. And Whisk you're going to stir in. that in? Yeah, just to get it melted. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then eventually as you do that, once yeah, it's once already it been melted. dissolved. Oh, okay, so that quickly it dissolves. Yeah, wow. Very quickly. Then you pour it into a container filled with chocolate. Chocolate, yes. Uh -huh, dark chocolate, fan fancy chocolate. Yes. And eventually that all melts together into this. Mm -hmm. Right? Into this, yes. Okay. This is um, the same base. So mm -hmm. this is um, essentially it's a ganache. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're going to fold this into the uh, whipped cream. 
Okay. Did you yes. have to try a lot of, do a lot of taste testing to make sure oh, that this yes. is going to turn out right? I'll let you do <laughs> it. Michael, can I have you help me? Michael, um, go ahead Michael Romano is your helper. <laughs> <laughs> How is that? I mean, Mr. Big at Union Square Cafe. <laughs> Terrific. Okay. Great. And so this, so are this we making a kind of ah chocolate mousse? Mmm, smells fantastic. Mm, it's a dark mm. chocolate, sort of a semi-sweet smell. Uh, bittersweet. Bittersweet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's not much sugar in it at mm -hmm. all. So it's really a creamy. Yes, that's right. Thick chocolate, and mm -hmm. you're going to pour them into this, pour this into the molds. <laughs> yes, these are silicone molds that we're mm -hmm. going to fill in. And you, silicone, why silicone? They come out uh, very easily, and ah. these can be made in any shape, any size. Oh, it doesn't ah. stick, nothing and, sticks. Oh, yeah, and so out. when you pour, so actually that's good for, for chilling things? Is yeah. that what the silicone molds are mm -hmm. good for? Yes. Ah, I never used those before. And then after you pour them in, you scoop out a bit here, and then you create, by putting this bottom on, this beautiful piece here. Right. We you created this, this, Rachel. Isn't that great? It's her recipe. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, we can't wait to eat it. We're all salivating out here. Thank you so much, Rachel and Michael, and congratulations well, great to on being for CCAT. Thank Thanks you. so much. We're going to dig in in just a second tomorrow. Ben Affleck and Hayes, Johnny Depp in an exclusive interview. We'll see you then. Have a good afternoon.